Okay, please tell us your name, where you're from, and what you do. My name is Jack Chu. I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio, and I go to school at the University of Dayton, majoring in marketing and economics. Why did you choose Belize to volunteer? I chose Belize to volunteer um, mostly because there is only a few options, but also I've always wanted to come to this part of the world. Um, I definitely thought that it was an opportunity to make a difference, and I always knew I wanted to do a service trip at Dayton. So. How has the service the local staff and coordinator provi provided to you while well in Belize? Um, the service and staff, I would say, was great here. Uh, they, I, We always felt comfortable going up to them if we ever needed anything. Uh, we had pretty much everything we needed to get through on like a day-to-day -day basis. And yeah, all the caregivers and Agatha both, if we needed anything or had any questions, I'm pretty sure everyone in our group felt comfortable going up and asking them. Um, what was a typical work day like? Um, so typically you would just wake up and take the kids to school. After that, I would say that most of the days I did yard work, whether it was weed whacking, pulling weeds, um, working in the greenhouse, uh, mowing the lawn. Also, uh, you would get to go to the preschool and daycare with the kids. Um, but yeah, I would say mostly just kind of taking care of the grounds around uh, Liberty's like premises. What was the most surprising thing you experienced while volunteering in Belize? I think the most surprising thing to me would be how much we connected to the kids just and how much like similarities we had to them, whether it was music taste or interests. Uh, all the kids were interested in like the NBA. Um, the games that we played were all the same, whether it's Capture the Flag or Foursquare. The games that we played growing up are the same games that they play growing up on a day-to-day -day basis. So it was just cool to see how we had more simila similarities and things in common than I kind of expected when I was headed here. Tell us a bit about your accommodation and meals. Yeah, so we would have three meals a day, seven breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, pretty much similar times to when I would eat at home, I guess, besides the early breakfast. Um, I would say lunch was always kind of like the bigger meal is what I got out of it. The accommodations, there was two of us in each room for the boys. We each had our bed and a shower. Um, but yeah, it was good accommodation. Nice little patio for us to hang out on and couches to hang out on if we needed to. What was the most challenging thing you experienced while we're volunteering in Belize? I think the most challenging thing, just kind of as the week went on, seeing the different things that they maybe didn't have access to. Um, a lot of times when we would clean, we would be cleaning with pieces of old shirts that were torn or a rag that was split into three pieces. Um, a lot of the kids got like RC cars for Christmas and just knowing that when those batteries run out that those RC cars aren't going to work was just kind of, I guess, sad to see and just kind of wish that they had more of what they actually needed. What type of donation can other volunteers bring to the program? Um, yeah, I would say a lot of the kids, uh, they really like shoes. They gone around to different people and even asked like I really like those shoes and I maybe have those at the end of the week or stuff like that um, but also just like shirts and shorts um, also the washcloths like I mentioned they would definitely benefit from having better stuff to clean with uh, batteries I think but I would say those are the main things are you willing to speak to other potential ABV volunteers yeah, I would say I'm willing to speak to other potential volunteers. And then do you have any tips for future volunteers coming to Belize? Um, I guess if you decide to volunteer, just come with an open mind. Um, be ready to make a difference. And I think like everyone here in our group would say that they came to Belize, like kind of hoping that they would make a difference. But everyone else here that we've encountered with has also, I would say, made a difference on the 15 or 16 of us. So just kind of have that open mind and yeah. Thank you. A Broader View Volunteers is a volunteer overseas organization 
501c3 nonprofit USA-based organization. You can tax deduct the program fees. Available year round. You choose your own program start and end dates. 27 country locations to choose from. Programs available from one week up to three months in length. 245 perfectly balanced projects. Experience, price, service. 100% cultural immersion, including local homestay and guest house accommodations. Program fees include airport transportation, orientation, housing meals, 24 seven in country support. Suitable options for solo travelers, gap year, honeymooners, families, mature travelers and groups excellent safety record and platinum rated nonprofit organization per GuideStar. Five reasons to volunteer abroad. Do you know what volunteering abroad involves? Why you should consider volunteering? Which countries you can volunteer in? How you'll make a lasting difference among communities in developing countries? What is volunteering abroad? A volunteer vacation involves traveling abroad to carry out unpaid work, often in a developing country with the aim of having a positive impact on the people, community, and environment. Nonprofit volunteering organization, A Broader View, which has been established for over a decade, was founded on the belief that one person can make a very real difference. That's why we offer travelers the opportunity to participate in meaningful, rewarding service work, all while exploring a new country. Volunteering overseas not only matches skilled and passionate individuals to the communities where they are most needed, but also helps to promote trust and communication between nations. Choose from a diverse range of programs. Enjoy a completely immersive cultural experience. Make a lasting difference in the places that need it most. Volunteering abroad is a fantastic way to travel and explore the world. Learn a new language. Why volunteer with A Broader View? Now that you understand the reasons behind volunteering abroad, it's time to choose a reputable, trustworthy organization that will send you on the trip of a lifetime. A Broader View has been organizing humanitarian programs since 2007. In that time, we have sent thousands of volunteers to over 245 project sites in 25 different countries. From solo, couples, small groups, university groups, medical missions, and gap year trips. Join us and get a broader view of the world. Facebook.com slash abroad.volunteer. YouTube.com slash a broader view org. Pinterest.com slash volunteers ABV slash volunteers at a broader view dot org. USA 866-423-3258. UK 020-3289-9896 Australia 028003-3474